Security breach in the organics lab. Lockdown protocols in effect. Once Vichy gets here, we're gonna rip this place apart until we find a way to get Penguin out of his... situation. Like a can of tuna. He's here to save you, sorry ass. You're the Batman. You're the Batman. I'm in shock, all right. Can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm in shock, all right. Can't believe what I'm seeing.
I'll need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. Huh. He can't get to us. Not while the lab's full of cryovapor. I think we're safe, so long as that cryo tank keeps pumping out babies. We can't get in here with all that uh, cryo tape, right? Shame! We can't get through that vapor while there's still power to the tank. Take the way I plan on spending my New Year's Eve. There are power conduits running through the greenhouses. I should be able to disable them with a thermocharged batarang. Disable those two power conduits to stop that reactor leak. Then I need to ventilate the room of cryo vapor.
Danger. Cryogenic reactor breach. Please evacuate. I should make sure that security guard is safe. Emergency. Please engage manual reactor shutdown.
Oh, sorry, man. I gotta leave you before he gets me, too. I'm getting tired of this. Huh? I'm in shock, all right. Can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm in shock, all right. Can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm in shock, all right. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Guys, Freeze took out the pen. And it looks like he drove off the bat. Maybe this Freeze guy's a better bet for us. If you keep talking like that, I'm gonna kick your ass so hard and get this down on you. We're all done for.
need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. Holy... thanks. Thank you. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryovapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryocannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. 
Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. A cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryoweapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Alfred, send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor.
you know what I'm going to do when I get out of here? I'm going to have candy pour me a nice hot bath. And then I'm going to drown you in it. Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Oh, you completely and utterly dead. Get over here, you nappy fucker. Pull your scrawny little neck of my head. Start to strangle some sense into you. Boss, you got to calm down. We'll get you out of there, somehow. Without me, you'd still be turning animals into ice. 